Rahman Rahim in the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most gracious. Hello, my YouTube family. I, Dr. Kamal Satari, your professional partner, welcome you all to this video. We are together, we shall learn about medical professionalism. In recent years, professionalism in medicine has gained increasing attention, and this particular attention has been devoted in recent years to the questions of what, why, and how for the professionalism. Today's presentation very briefly describes what is medical professionalism, why is it important, and how to inculcate the related attributes for the teaching purpose in a way that would allow a lasting impact to be inculcated within medical students. For the majority of educationists, medical professionalism today is considered as heart and soul of medicine. It is also observed that today's definition of medical professionalism is evolving from autonomy to accountability, from expert opinion to evidence-based medicine, from self-interest to teamwork and shared responsibility. Let's tackle these four dimensions one by one. Medical professionalism is the heart and soul of medicine. It signifies that it's more than the adherence to a set of medical ethics. It is what originally attracted students to the field of medicine. Pertaining to the second dimension, which is about accountability, it is required that it has to be in balance with autonomy. In this slide, we can also see that the third dimension is highlighting the need of adopting evidence-based medicine while making decisions about a patient. The fourth point emphasizes the necessity of teamwork so that medical errors are reduced to the lowest possible level. Medical professionalism is the daily expression of the desire to help people and society as a whole by providing quality health care to those in need. Medical professionalism then comprises a set of behaviors where physicians subordinate their own interest to the interest of others. Physicians adhere to high ethical and moral standards. They respond to societal needs and their behaviors reflect a social contact with the commitment and commit to, towards communities they serve. They also show core humanistic values, including honesty and integrity, caring and compassion, altruism and empathy, respect for others and trustworthiness. Physicians exercise accountability for themselves and for their colleagues. And they demonstrate a continuing commitment to excellence, as well as physicians exhibit a commitment to scholarship and to advancing their field. Furthermore, they deal with high level of complexity and uncertainty. And last but not least, the physician reflect upon their actions and decisions. Now let's talk about the significance of medical professionalism. The most significant is the way physicians behave in routine times as well as in challenging times. And how is this trust maintained towards all stakeholders? In the year 1999, the Accreditation Council for Graduate Medical Education implemented general competencies applicable to every specialty that need to be imparted during residency or fellowship programs. One of these six competencies is professionalism. In that same year, the Medical Professionalism Project was launched by the American Board of Internal Medicine Foundation, the American College of Physicians Foundation, and the European Federation of Internal Medicine. The result was a professionalism charter, which was published in 2002, that defined three fundamental principles of professionalism. Number one is the primacy of patient welfare. This principle focuses on altruism, trust, and patient interest. The second principle is patient autonomy. This principle incorporates honesty with patients and the need to educate and empower patients to make appropriate medical decisions. Third principle is social justice. This principle addresses physicians' societal contact and distributive justice. Who among us can disagree that the professionalism of medical students as future doctors is crucial for the quality of health care? And we also know that for many years, Society and physicians have used the word professional to designate only medical practitioners. But unfortunately, the available literature evidence is enough to tell us that medical students 
in current times are depriving their standards in relation with the attributes of medical uh, medical education as well as with the medical professionalism and we know that certain behaviors early in medical education do correlate with unprofessional behaviors during a physician's career we need to be vigilant in looking for those behaviors and let our students and trainees know why we are so concerned about them physicians are likely to improve in professionalism with training and experience but we have to keep in mind that we have to act before it's too late although professionalism is an essential competency for physicians it is challenging to teach and train students for this essential set of behaviors the hurdles i mean the probable hurdles or the potential hurdles may include number 1 the hidden curriculum which comprises subliminal messages that transmit to individuals in the implementation of formal curricula these messages are transmitted through human behaviors and the structures and practices of institutions moreover negative role modeling encountered during clinical practices can also undermine the attitudinal messages of other teaching methods now let's see what are the potential solutions number 1 there is a huge evidence that does exist and highlights that critical reflection is very essential to professional development role modeling and early clinical context are also identified as an important part of the process of socialization allowing students to enter the community of practice with this slide here we end our today's presentation in the upcoming videos we shall be exploring the best ways to teach and assess medical professionalism thank you and goodbye